Salud! Ah! I am now fortified to deal with typical insane bullshit. As everybody knows out there, especially all the Americans out there, the world is full of batshit crazy lunatics crammed full in their head with insane superstitious beliefs. One of the, in the insane superstitious beliefs that everybody comes across now and then, often a great many times, is the belief that there are no atheists out there. The assertion is that every single human being, quote, knows, end of quote, that the gods exist. Because, the myth goes, the gods imbibed innately human beings to believe that the gods exist. That is the argument. What follows is a typical um, insane rant by a typical lunatic. Let's take a look. The Bible says... Okay, literally less than one second into the video, we come to the first problem. Who gives a shit what the Bible says? Why don't you explain to us why anybody out there should give a crap? Pardon me. I'm getting overexcited there. Gives a shit! What was I saying? That's right! Why the bloody fart? Should anybody give a crap what the Bible has to say? Please explain that to us. Why we should believe anything in the Bible and what it says. In Romans chapter 1. A woman? No, a Roman. Talking about God. For what can be known about God is plain to them. Yes, why are there literally thousands of gods then? That is all men. Because God has shown it to them. For his invisible attributes, namely his eternal power and divine nature, have been clearly perceived ever since the creation of the world in the things that have been made. Exactly! The argument by ignorance. They didn't know where things came from, how they came to be, therefore the gods did it. This is the argument that the anonymous writer of the myth is making. Argument by ignorance. We don't know, by golly, therefore we'll just have to guess. A hell of a lot of people out there who make this argument are trying to convince themselves because they don't want to appear silly. They want other people to innately believe that not just all of the gods, not just some of the gods, but the particular gods that they believe in is innately felt and believed and quote, known, end of quote, by everybody else. Now that doesn't make them feel uncomfortable believing what they know is bullshit. How is this not obvious to this clown who is actually making this assertion, uh, parroting this assertion? I can't fathom. Maybe the gods made him do it. So, they are without excuse. The Bible clearly tells us in these passages that all men believe that God exists from all time in all places of history. I do not believe that the gods exist. Therefore, the Bible is wrong. Now what? So what we have here is a picture of all kinds of pyramid structures from around the world in different parts of the world from Egypt to Mexico to Cambodia to Indonesia and Iran, Egypt, everywhere. I'm kind of surprised he didn't mention the pyramid on Mars. We see these pyramid structures popping up all over the world in different times of history. And what this shows me is the truth of the scriptures. And why should anybody give a shit what this shows you? 
please explain that to us while I get another drink. That all people do believe God exists. There's something inside of humanity that causes us to look upwards. Huh? I don't get it. Are you claiming that the gods are really up there? Is that where they are? Seriously? By the way, this is grape juice. It is not fermented. The book of Ecclesiastes says that... Uh, we don't give a shit what the book of Ecclesiastes says. God has put eternity in the hearts of men. Well, fuck, I sure hope not. My heart needs the fucking space for the fucking blood. But in the pyramids, we see something of sin. A misguided approach. This has got to be good. I can hardly wait to hear the explanation for this. To getting to the heavens, to understanding God. See, the Tower of Babel was built... Or it wasn't built. It could be a myth, like a hell of a lot of other myths in the Bible. There is no evidence that the Tower of Babel actually existed, let alone that it was a pyramid. And the mantra of the Tower of Babel was, let us build a tower to go to the heavens. That's right, and these days we have rockets. Well, the United States doesn't have rockets. Russians have rockets, the European Unions have rockets, the Chinese have rockets. What the fuck was I going with this? Oh yes! Are you now saying that rockets are now attempts to go to the heavens and visit the gods? Is that what you're saying? Because if your towers were attempts to do that, then surely rockets are, right? Same logic, right? Men, because of sin, have misguided their eyes and their hearts away from God and glorifying Him to glorifying self. Okay, if I can follow your convoluted, very insane, irrational argument. Humans all over the planet have built, and still are building, pyramids and ziggurats because an innate sense of the gods actually existing has spawned within them a desire to reach those gods by building pyramids and ziggurats. Is that what you are claiming? Because I believe that is what you are claiming. You know why pyramids are built? You know why that pyramid shape is a idolized structure for primitive people and even for modern people today. That structure doesn't fall down because it's already down. It's very hard to take a pyramid and squash it even flatter because it's pretty much already flattened, uh, albeit a pyramid flattened. This is why pyramids exist all throughout the world. It's the ideal structure to build if you want to make it last for a hell of a long time. You know another reason why pyramids have been built all over the planet over and over and over again by advanced civilizations? They're very easy to defend because to attack a fortified position at the top, you, the, the enemy has to somehow get up the sides and the defenders can rain down destruction on anybody attacking and they can also see those attacks. You know, another reason why a hell of a lot of civilizations out there, such as Nineveh, built pyramids because they had very large, very wide, very massive, impressive walls around their cities. And you build a pyramid in the center or off-center someplace. It is very easy to watch any invaders from the pyramid 
And it is also a hell of a lot easier to make a smaller wall around a massive pyramid than a much larger wall around little buildings. This is fucking obvious also. It is not because humanity wants to get closer to the gods by building towers. If you're a society and you want to conserve space and you want a smaller space to defend but a larger structure to live within, you build a fucking pyramid! Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it.